for the property after the property has been knocked down to the successful bidder. The vendors have a reserve price and as the auctioneer I will indicate bidders on request. The law prohibits false bids, major disruptions by bidders and bidders attempting to prevent others from bidding and does provide fines for this conduct. The rules permit vendor bids and the words I will use during the auction, during the auction to indicate I am making a bid on behalf of the vendor are vendor bid and by law only I as the auctioneer can make a bid on behalf of the vendor. Now the uh, contract of sale which has been on display for your perusal both here this afternoon and throughout the course of the auction program. It's a really easy document to read through and understand. It is being sold on an unconditional basis here this afternoon. What that simply does mean is that if you are buying here today, it removes conditions like subject to finance, subject to a building and pest inspection, not that I think you would need one. It also removes the five day cooling off period. 10% is your deposit. The settlement date is really flexible, anywhere from 30 to 60 to 90 days. Now being that it is October 29, 60 days is in that New Year Christmas period, so we want to avoid that date there. But we are, as I said, very flexible, anywhere from 30 to 90 days from today's execution date, just avoiding that Christmas and New Year period, which can be a tricky time to settle with a lot of people being on lease. So really flexible. As I said, 10% is your deposit, completely unconditional. The vendor statement, section 32, is attached to that contract of sale, which does outline to you, the potential buyer, all of these services to the property, all of the outgoings applicable, all of the plans applicable on this corner allotment 630 square metres. So a really easy document to read to and understand. And that is the document that once you've bought, once you've justly, proudly bought this new home for you here this afternoon,